How's it going guys? This is Ryo Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. We meet again. Okay, so, so much to talk about, but before I start talking about the location, I always have to give you guys the context, background, information, where I'm shooting, etc, etc. So I actually previously shot at Harumi Futo, aka, I guess in foreigners, you guys call it Harumi Wharf or somewhere, something like that. Back then I shot with digital, but now I'm like shooting with film most of the time and it would be nice for me to like revisit those areas that I have like previously shot to get a different like perspective, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to revisit that area to see if there was anything that changed over the course of the year. Okay, so Harmi Futo aka Harmi Wharf if you call it, is by far, in my opinion, my biased opinion, probably one of the best location to shoot in Tokyo because there was a couple of reasons. Um, you can search it up on, up on Google or somewhere, check Google images and you can get a gist of what kind of images you can get, but, and photos. And one of the reasons why I love that area in particular is, as you guys can tell, it's like a super isolated location, but it's in the urban area. However, it's similar to Toyosa that I shot back then. It is what you would call an artificial island where it's man-made island so it's like a peninsula but this one in particular the Harumi Wharf is actually a location where ships as in like cruiser ships dock in and allows like passengers to like transit from one location to one location so it's more like a shipping terminal for passengers not for like containers and stuff like that so there's this sort of like movement of people going in within the terminal and within the ships however because of this pandemics you know i was like predicting it would be like super isolated and it would be a great time opportunity to shoot that area so that's like one of my main reasons why i shot that area a couple of like problems arose during this shoot and it might have been my fault it might have been google's fault you know but when I looked at the map, I want to, before I shoot, I always check the map to see like what kind of route, what kind of passage I should like take. But Google did a poor job and saying that this area was closed off. It might have been my fault, but I mean, look at the size of that font, temporarily closed. I did not notice that. So I just basically went there and one area was like closed off. So I had to take a detour and go around it. But I realized after like getting to that location, the most important area, the tip of that area in order to access that, you have to either go through the building or I knew that that building was closed off. So I thought you could detour or take a side passage around it, but that area was closed again. So I was not able to take the main like part of my photos, but instead, I shot the inner harbor area, which I personally think I shot a lot of great shots in, within that area, but like I probably might need to go back and revisit that area be when it reopens because that was not what I was expecting. So yeah, I failed once, probably might fail again next time. Okay, another thing I need to like mention is in order to access this Harmi Futo Harmi Wharf area, you need to like actually walk to that location and there's actually no direct route to getting there. So the closest station that I highly recommend is riding the Toei Oedo line from Shinjuku, if you're coming from Shinjuku, to a station called Kachidoki Station. And from there, it's like a 30 minute walk. You have to walk across the bridge. You have to like walk across like these like random areas to get to this area. And because it's sort of like a remote area, it's like a peninsula, it's like on the edge, similar to Toyosu. I mean, for some people you have to walk. If you're a slow walker, it might take you like an hour or so, but I walked pretty fast, so it took me like 30 minutes to get there. So that's like one of the things I noticed. Okay, speaking of the Kachidoki station on the Oedo line, there is something rather interesting to share with you guys. I'm going to like digress, but unfortunately, Along the way, when I was like walking, I found these like posters being hanged by famous like photographers, shot by famous photographers, famous photographers from Magnum Photos. These include Groucher Pinkasu and Mark Power and Harry Gruyapper. Did I pronounce it right? I don't know. <laughs> but 
probably like 98% of people outside of Tokyo, Japan, mostly foreigners don't know about this, but they did. The Toei Oedo line, the what you call Tokyo Metro, actually did a collaboration with Magna photographers, sort of like documenting like the civil life of the subway workers and people, passengers, like ordinary people in total. And they actually did a gallery in Roppongi Station back in 2020 in February. But unfortunately, I never had the opportunity to like go there to check it out because you guys know 2020 was basically when the pandemic started to like go around Tokyo and I never had that urge to go because it was a risk. So why didn't you go, Rio? Why didn't you go? I was busy. The title is called like the Toei Transportation for Every Moment We Live. And these like like series actually they're like short clips actually i'll stick in some links in the description below for you guys to check out if you're interested in like documentary photography kind of stuff arts to see i mean they're like well beyond my realms i mean i predict that i won't be able to achieve equal like what you call achievements as what they shot because their artwork are like amazing to see in person and I wish I saw it because they were being hanged within the station actually the subway station not in the gallery more like in the Roppongi station within the station area so it was unfortunate I never had the time to like go there to visit and by looking at the videos it looks so amazing like look I guess they use some kind of glossy like paper or something for their work but yeah Почему эта маленькая страна повернула всю европейскую культуру в конце XIX века? И увидел, что в отличие от европейцев, которые здесь внимание было обращено в природу, на натуральность линий. The factories are like microcosm. Their own little worlds. Well, it's uh... Uh, it's a cultural shock. People being very different sometimes, the daytime and the night. Strange world. So I digressed really long. So back to topic. On top of that, I also made a switch to Kodak Portra 400 for this shoot. We'll say in my previous video I shot with Pro 400H, but Portra 400 made sense to me because those areas in particular, Toyosu, Army Wharf, those areas, I realized I sh would rather shoot with Portra 400 to give that sort of like distinct, you know, look as a group, you know? So it would it would not make sense if I shot with Pro 400H, which I had a little bit of stock left, but I'm reserving it for later. So I shot with Portra 400 with, as always, a GW690 rangefinder camera. And yeah, I think I talked a lot once again. So let's roll the film. Harmi Wharf, Harmi Futo, Kodak Portra 400. GW690, I'm getting used to it. Let's go.
Okay, so after shooting with this within this area and instead of walking back to Kachidoki Station, I mean I had some time so I actually walked towards Kiji, that was where the former fish market was located, now it's located in Toyosu. But there was this like that area in particular actually there's lots of bridges, interesting bridges around, and one of them caught my attention and I took I took a couple of like shots before leaving that area and I just loved how the from this area you can basically see the Tokyo Tower, the old Tokyo Tower and I just like the vibrant color, the vibrant red of this film stock which like matched the scenery perfectly and I hope you guys like enjoy this video and along with that if you have any questions like regarding this area, regarding my camera, regarding film, I mean feel free to like leave in the comments below. I'm happy to reply, especially the positive ones, not the negative ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm replying to all the comments that are like really positive, but negatives, no, I don't like to see those negative comments. <laughs>